people today that they're speaking against anointed servants of God, most of them, if not all of them, they know the truth. They're just lying because the jealousy is so bad, just like Saul. But those people are really foolish, these people that are ministers and stuff, because they're only attracting people with bad hearts. My sheep know my voice. So when you truly have the Holy Spirit and you have a pure heart and you want to be in God's will and please him, you have the gift of discernment. You can see what's humility and what's not. You can see what's hatred and what's love. You can see what's judgment and what's not. And so these people that spew these horrible things against the anointed ones, Ones with bad hearts that are like, yeah, you're doing what we want. We want to tear this person down because we're jealous too. You're going to attract those people. Have fun with that and have fun with how they treat you if that's their heart. But you're going to detract all of the pure hearts. You've marked yourself as a false one, as a one who's prideful, as a one who's jealous, as one who's with a bad heart. Of course, speaking against, we all know that is horrible. But... Maybe you don't realize also the seriousness of keeping quiet. People today, they fight with silence. They fight by not saying anything. There are some leaders in the body of Christ today who have pride and they see, oh, I see that God is moving here, but I don't want this to happen. I want it to happen through me only and at my church. So... I'm not going to say anything. This is what happens. This is what is happening currently in the body of Christ today. 